Welcome to Burlington City Arts Family Art Saturday. This Family Art Saturday connects to BCA Center's spring exhibition, Pivotal Moments, Select Works by Diane Gabriel. This exhibition features the expressive imagery of one of Vermont's most celebrated artists and educators, Diane Gabriel. I'm really glad you're here today. My name is Jessie and together we are going to look closely at some of Diane Gabriel's artwork. And then we are going to be creating our own monotype prints using an experimental and playful approach to printmaking. Let's get started by looking at some of Diane Gabriel's artwork. Always experimenting and often working in series, Diane Gabriel incorporated found objects to create her imagery. She would experiment with materials to create prints that expressed her ideas about childhood, memories, and spirituality. Look closely at Diane Gabriel's monotype, untitled Three Leaf Prints. Describe what you see. What shapes, textures, and patterns can you find? What kind of experimenting do you think Diane Gabriel did as she created this artwork? Diane Gabriel often spent time outdoors collecting objects from nature for her prints. She would use leaves, sticks, and animal bones to create her artwork. Look closely at this work of art. Describe what you see. What do the images and objects in this piece have in common? What shapes, patterns, and textures can you find? How do you think Diane Gabriel used real objects to create this monotype print? What objects from nature have you collected that hold special memories for you? Diane Gabriel often foraged for her art materials instead of going to the store to buy things. You can see by looking at those prints that her interest in natural materials and found objects often showed up in her artwork. Today, with our printmaking, we are going to forage some supplies from around our home. We will use repurposed objects, textiles, and elements of nature to create our own monotype prints. Here are the supplies that you will need today for our monotypes. I have set my studio up for some experimenting with monotypes. I've started with two sheets of aluminum foil, one I'm going to use for my printing plate and one I'm going to use for inking. You could also use parchment or wax paper for this. I have some lightweight sketch paper ready for my printing. I have selected some washable tempera paints. I just selected colors that I liked today. Any color will work. I also foraged for some materials with good textures for our printmaking. I wanted to use some natural objects like Diane Gabriel did, and it's early spring, so there's not a lot of leaves outdoors to choose from, but I was able to find a few clippings from houseplants that I'll be able to print with today. I also found some lettuce leaves in my refrigerator that I am excited to experiment with. I found a stick outside so that I could draw on my prints with. And then I wanted to find a few soft textures to incorporate. So I have a couple different yarns and strings. I found a little scrap of fabric with a lovely texture on it. Diane Gabriel also included 
some soft materials in her prints. I even found an adorable little pink button that I might try to print as well. The objects that you forage um, are probably going to be different from what I found. There are so many possibilities of the different textures that you can experiment with during this monotype process. Let's begin experimenting with our monotypes. I'm going to start by putting some paint on my printing plate. So I'm going to select any color that I want and I'm just going to paint the surface of my printing plate. This is my piece of aluminum foil and I'm just putting a nice coat of red down. Any color you want to work with will be the perfect choice. And I don't want to have too many puddles, just a nice even layer. And after I have some paint down on here, I'm going to now put some ink on some of the objects that I foraged for. I want to start with my fabric scrap. I'm going to lay that over here with my inking section and choose a color of paint. And I'm just going to apply paint on the top of this object. Nice even coat anywhere that has that wonderful texture. Again, I don't want any puddles, just a nice even coat. There's no puddles coming off. I just coated my gray fabric with blue. I'm going to lay this fabric on to the plate that I painted red anywhere I think looks nice. And I'm going to explore another one of my objects. I think I want to use this leaf. I'll put it over here for inking and then choose a color. Same thing I did with that piece of fabric. I'm going to apply some paint to my leaf. I am putting it on the side of the leaf where all of the veins show because that has the most beautiful texture, I think. So you can see where I put that, right? And now I'm just going to choose a place over here that I think it looks beautiful. I'll try one of my lettuce leaves as well. Different color, perhaps. Right on there. And I am not using any overlapping this time. I want to see all of my objects individually. And then finally, I'm going to take something, I just have this stick, and I'm going to run it through the surface of my red paint and see if I can draw some beautiful designs in there. Oh yeah. So as I'm running this stick, you can see I'm drawing these swirly, swiggly lines. You can draw anything you want in there. But it's just another way to create design for your print. Let's see. If I wanted to add any more color in my background, I could, but I think I'm going to pause right here. On, um, I have three objects and I've drawn into my ink. I want to see what this looks like when I print it. So I'm going to take my paper. And I'm going to lay it right on top of my aluminum foil. And then very carefully, I don't want my objects to slip around. I'm gonna push down on it. So it touches those objects. And I'm going to begin rubbing my paper down onto those objects. And this is the printing process. I'm using my fingertips. I don't wanna use my nails because they don't, they don't make such a great print, but this is a good surface here. And I'm rubbing over all of the objects, getting all of the edges. 
down where I painted any of the red. I can feel the leaf's texture underneath my paper. That can take a little while. And notice I'm just moving kind of, kind of slow. If I moved really fast, my paper might slip. Let's see, now I'm gonna peek and see if I'm getting anything printed here. So I'm just gonna lift up the corner and this is a great way to test to see if your print is working. Do you see any? Oh yeah, I'm starting to see a few things. I wanna push down a little more on that leaf, I think. All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off, see what we've got. And remember, this is all experimenting. Knows what we're gonna get. Ooh. All right. Okay. So I can see where I've got my blue leaf and my yellow leaf. And I can even see where I drew in. You see those little swirly lines? So pretty cool. That's a great first print. All of my objects came through. I'm excited to do a little bit more experimenting with this. I can use these objects in any different combination. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Oh, ooh. Look at that. When I took off my objects, you could see the imprint. I think I'm gonna try one more print without the objects on it. So I'm gonna use this and see what happens. I don't, I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth experimenting. This one might be a little lighter because the ink will have dried. Let's see. Oh, it's just a miniature little print. You can see where that leaf prints. This would be called a ghost print. Not a lot came out, but it's still pretty cool to experiment. All right, let's play with our objects. I'm gonna keep working on this same piece of aluminum foil. I could wash it off, but I'm gonna paint right over. It'll be just fine. minute of this experimental printmaking studio. It's exciting to see how starting with my first print, looking at those objects and seeing how they transformed and changed as I made different compositions and added different colors, maybe added a few different objects with it but seeing those same things come through and through, but in so many different ways. Each monotype became a unique piece of work. And I ended with this one. And I, I started to play a little bit more and figure out how I could draw with that yarn. But here's that same first leaf. It's lovely. For this one, I even saved my printing plate, the piece of foil, because look how beautiful it looks the paint dried and it looks like it was painted with metallic paint. 
you can see the little button indentation and where the yarn pressed in to make that heart drawing. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna keep both of these. I might hang them together. I hope you and your family enjoy exploring and experimenting in this printmaking studio. The possibilities are endless and it gives us a way of thinking sustainably about creating art, looking around our homes for materials that we might not consider for art making. Diane Gabriel's work was truly inspirational and I hope you and your family find a little bit of inspiration today. So I'm going to be back here in April, April 24th for another virtual family art Saturday. I hope to see you then. Happy creating. Goodbye.